eventually, I do believe, you'll call a restaurant, let's say, and you'll think you're talking to a human being. You're not talking to a human being. You're talking to an AI agent. Welcome to AI Factor, coming to you from the NASDAQ market site. Today we're sitting down with Glenn Fogel, CEO of Booking Holdings, to unpack how AI is reshaping the travel industry. Thanks for being here, Glenn. Well, thanks so much for having me. So last year, Booking.com rolled out its AI trip planner. How does it work and how is it helping customers? Yeah, and uh, we have a number of other brands too within Booking Holdings. Booking.com, our AI trip planner rolled that out. There's a way for people to use the new large language model technologies to come up with a way to better plan your trip. So you can type in anything into the chat, say, oh, I'm thinking about taking a vacation next week. I want to go someplace warm and then it'll go back and forth, just like you used to do with a human being travel agent. So you create that conversational, which is so different than trying to go through filters and not sure what you're gonna do. So far, it's very interesting seeing what people are asking and coming up with better ways to provide the service they really want. Have you had any early feedback from customers on the use of it, if it's smooth, if it's conversational? Yeah. So you know how we say things are very early? Yes. This is very <laughs> early. And I'm a customer, I use it all the time because I want to see how it's doing. And I've been absolutely ecstatic, like, wow, that was great. And I've had things like, I can't believe this. This is horrible. <laughs> and everything in between. It's the whole thing in technology right now is changing so rapidly. I think in a not so long from now, we'll see things really great. What do you see as it being its next iteration? Yeah, so what it is, is really is creating what we really want is, as I say, to recreate the effect of dealing with a human being. So for example, when I, and I'm, I'm an older man now, so back when I was young and my family wanted to take a trip, we'd go to a human being travel agent and the human being travel agent knew things about us. She knew what we could afford. She kind of knew what we liked and she'd offer a few things and she'd work it all together, not just like the best hotel we want or the flight, she would have it all holistically and she'd put it all together and she'd offer a number of different choices. Then we would choose, that's what we want. But even more so, which was really great, if something went wrong, we just called her and she fixed it. We want that too. So the idea of using AI, coming up with a better way to do this, that's what we want. And I'm seeing it already. Look, we're using it in customer service. So we're able to provide better and faster customer service. We're seeing it in terms of the back office and be able to create better coding using these co-pilots. But more so, the traveler doesn't care about that really. What they care about is, get me the right trip at the right value so I'm happy. Additionally, our suppliers, the hotels, the airlines, working with them, provide them with ways that they can increase their incremental demand. Working together creates a great thing. I saw a survey that Booking.com did last year that said 48% of potential customers are comfortable with using AI to plan their trip. Do you see that growing? Do you see people becoming more comfortable with AI as it becomes more widespread? Or do you think people are becoming more wary of it? I don't think people think too much about the technology behind a service they're getting. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that, example, a plane up in the air, that a lot of it's being flown, not by a human being, it's an autopilot that's doing it. Maybe you'll think about that or care too much about it. And they're quite comfortable getting in the plane or not. Mm -hmm. Similarly, there's so many things in our lives that is created by different technological services, we don't think about them. I think AI will be the exact same thing. People aren't gonna be thinking, oh, is this AI generated or not? What we're gonna think is, is this customer service solving my problem or not? You mentioned back in the olden days, having to go to a travel agent to have them book your flight and book your whole itinerary. That was kind of done away with, with the internet and being able to book your own flights online. Do you see AI kind of having that impact on other aspects of the travel industry, getting rid of certain roles or certain functions? How many times have you been frustrated when you went on a customer service and said, oh, please hold. And then they had to go figure it out and maybe talk to a whole bunch of other people about it. This way, they don't have to do that. AI is gonna help out right there. Right, and you mentioned, for example, a customer service agent using AI. So do you see that becoming part of the training and part of the sort of knowledge that these agents are going to start to have to oh, have? It's happening already. It's already being done all the time. And it's not no different, but you have to train a customer service person right now. In fact, you'll have AI training so the customer service can do it with the AI system. 
Now, for example, right now, Open Table, one of our companies right now, has put together with Salesforce, they have a thing that is an AI agent product that we are using right now, Agent Force. And that is making it much easier to be able to deal with customer service type problems or interactions with the restaurants. Eventually, I do believe you'll call a restaurant, let's say, because you didn't want to make the reservation, you want to talk or something, and you'll think you're talking to a human being. You're not talking to a human being. You're talking to an AI agent. It sounds like a human. It acts like a human. It, the one difference is it doesn't get angry at you ever. It's always nice. It's always pleasant. More broadly, how open do you think the travel and hospitality industry has been to AI? I think a lot of people in the industry very much so want to have the benefits of using technology. The issue, though, is that we have all different systems and they don't talk to each other. So someone like us, an online travel agent, booking holders, all of our companies, all of our brands, we're able to more easily integrate, be able to way to deal with all the different systems, come up with a holistic solution for the traveler, because the traveler really doesn't care that the hotel has this system, the airline has that system, the car rental has that one. Oh, by the way, the attraction, the boat ride I want to take, they got a different system. They really don't care. What they care is they want to have an easy way to have this trip done and pay for it, have everything done right. And what they really want then is to have somebody who will help them in the trip. So for example, using AI, you decide that you want to take a boat tour in Amsterdam and you arrange it all that. Isn't it wonderful? We'll have AI saying, you know, it's two days before your boat ride. It looks like it's going to rain. Could we suggest, we're going to suggest that we change your boat ride for another day for Friday from Thursday. And Thursday, we'd like to suggest that you spend the day in the Reich Museum with indoor while it's raining outside. That's the type of solutions that we'll see in the future that we can do. No particular individual player in that chain could do it on their own. But we have the holistic view of the entire trip and we can make it so much better and so much easier. Everybody wins in this. And so that's a way that you are keeping ahead of your competitors. Um, how are you sort of using AI to get that edge on some of your yeah. rivals in the industry? So one of the things is you're probably not surprised that we're not the only ones who have thought of this. In fact, it's <laughs> kind of obvious when you think about it, wouldn't that be better? So everybody wants to create this, what we call, we're calling it the connected trip. And everybody's where everybody wants to do it. One of the advantages we have though, is that we're bigger. And sometimes people don't like bigness, but I'll tell you, having capital is helpful. Having thousands and thousands of people working on these kind of problems, that's helpful. Having more data than anybody, you know, people say, you know, data is the new oil. Well, we got a lot of that data and being able to come up with solutions. So all those things give us a competitive edge. Now, there are people who say, gee, I'm not so sure I like that. But from our point of view is it provides a better solution for everybody. It's better for the traveler. It's better for the suppliers. I believe that actually having these kind of solutions is actually good for everybody. And then you can even put in things that are better for society. For example, we could easily see how environmentally good is this trip or not. And then we can offer up to the traveler, by the way, we could rearrange it this way and say this amount of CO2 tons in the air, if we do it this way, would you prefer to do it that way or not? And offer those things to make things better. You touched on this a little bit, but looking into the future, looking into your crystal ball within the next five or 10 years, where do you see the travel industry best utilizing AI? Yeah, every single part. And it's not just travel. It's every part of our entire society. You know, these new technologies, particularly generative AI, I really see this as a transformative force as much as even going back saying even electricity. Our societies are going to change tremendously. Now, you asked me what, right in the early stages right now, things where we are seeing benefits right away, customer service right away, mm -hmm. efficiency in coding right away, we're seeing those things. Great. Thank you so much, Glenn. This was wonderful. Well, thank you. Thanks for watching. I'm Rocio Fabro for Quartz. Stick with QZ.com for more.